Hello, my name is Kam and I will be leading today's tutorial. The product owner for this project is Dr. Mario Arasso and the mentor is Dr. Masood. This user story is about validating the input so that the user input matches the input expected by the algorithm. The beneficiary is a user since input validation will let them know why their input is not being accept accepted by the algorithm and how to make the proper adjustments to get their comparisons. The reasoning behind this user story is that the users need to know why their input is not being accepted and how to adjust the input so that it will be accepted. Without this, the user may get frustrated with the application and may stop using the app. These are the use case diagram and the sequence diagram of the user story. I'm going to demonstrate the gist of the user story using the emulator of Android Studio. On the comparison screen right here, when, when your input is not validated, uh, when it has uh, invalid input, it will notify you that uh, it is not valid. Um, as you can see here, and it will show you uh, what you should do to correct the input. And you may not go to the next stage either until you completed you have a unless you have a valid input this is the ca class diagram of the user story the comparison activity uses the input validator class and the input validator calls the time format validator. Um, I will show you the code. Here the comparison activity called the input validator, to, but uh, it only called the input validator. The input validator called the time format validator. Uh, the input validator check uh, in the class, it, it has a method that checks if the string, the input, uh, it's to make sure that it's only alpha alphabetical letters. And if it's not, uh, it goes through, uh, it sends the string to the time format validator to see if the numbers are part of the time format. And here you can see that uh, it checks for the minute the period and the valid hour. We separated the two classes so that uh, in the future it's going to be easier to implement new type of format uh, and then uh, and then they can just uh, easily implement it in the input validator. For unit testing, we have a test class for the input validator and one for the time format validator. The input validator test check to make sure that the input validator accept correct inputs and it tests the method that checks for alphabetical letters. <coughs> And the time format validator check to make sure that the incorrect hour and or incorrect minute or incorrect period are not accepted. The integration tests were similar to the unit test. Uh, we check to make sure that the invalid inputs are identified and notifications are shown to the users like I just showed you. Uh, we also tested using different correct and incorrect inputs and 
make sure that user cannot proceed to the next screen until we have the we have valid inputs if you have any questions you can email my partner Lisette or me through the emails displayed on the screen thank you